Yeah, guys, the court decided next month Rojam will be put to death, but he's always claimed he's innocent. KOCO5 has covered this case since this girl involved in the case was found back in the 1980s. They say the girl had wounds on her back and was sexually abused. Police and sheriff's deputies and the OSBI are running down leads on the suspects, but so far have no one in custody. Back in 1984, KOCO 5 reporter Jane Braden was in Burns Flat, where the body of Layla Don Cummings was found. The seven-year-old was Richard Rojam's stepdaughter. She was found uh, in a field on the side of County Road by a farmer passing by. Rojam was convicted in her murder, but is just now set for execution. He won two different challenges to his sentence in decades past. Court records say his stepdaughter was abducted from an apartment in Elk City while her mom was working. She was reported missing from Elk City last night. Uh, I wasn't aware of that until this morning when the body was found. After several resentencing trials, juries kept recommending the death penalty, upheld by the Criminal Court of Appeals. But it's the first time the state of Oklahoma will carry out an execution, since the appeals court decided on 90-day intervals between executions earlier this month. The Department of Corrections and Attorney General Drummond both pushed for that new interval. But in court filings on the decision, a judge said he thinks it's delaying justice, saying in part, It's time to realize the victims and their families must be remembered, and the law established by the Oklahoma legislature followed. Regardless of how a person feels about the death penalty, it is a part of the law established by the legislature. And Rojam's official execution date will be June 27th, coming up next month. In Oklahoma City, Jason Berger, KOCO 5 News.